good morning guys as recording of this video is actually america day it's the fourth of july honey how do you like the fourth of july what is the fourth of july explain to my non-american friends so make sure you say the accurate stuff because americans are listening too technically it's called independence day it's okay. the fourth of july it's uh from the signing of uh the Declaration of Independence in 1776, July 4th, 1776. Oh, okay. When the, I believe the 13 colonies declared uh, separation from England. Yeah. You wanna go inside? No, I'm kidding, baby. <laughs> you have to wait, yes. Forever. One way. Forever. You don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? Okay, give my kid this one I bet it would be nice to be in the parade too, huh? For children I think they're gonna be remember this for, the, for a long time Anyone can be in the parade Oh, okay If they want a bike or something, they can go in it Oh! I didn't know that. That's cool. Next year, you guys should be in. Mikey, do you see horses? Hey Mikey, do you see some horses? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job, my love. You're counting. Okay, let me try. No. no. So yeah. how are you liking the thing? Like what is your highlight? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to blow? Yeah. Mm, they're eating some lollipops. What's your highlight? Now, for me, I feel like I should have just stayed home. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's just like um, fun how to see different stuff. Like different um, groups of people, like museums, not mus yeah, museums, plays, um, all that stuff. Oh, and then we'll look at this at the beginning. The other side. No, this beginning. Yay! Yay. Happy independence! Got the red <laughs> shirt. <laughs> yes, I'm on the right. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. Hello. Hey guys, I'm here in the truck. Um, all the boys have left me. They've gone to the store to buy some stuff. Um, since today is um, America Day, I asked my husband, what do you guys eat on America? They said that they usually eat um, barbecue stuff. So he's thinking of buying some barbecue stuff for 
lunch and then dinner is planned by papa so i'm excited to show you guys what you're gonna be heading for dinner but right now i'm in the truck all by myself just watching stuff um dealing with comments and stuff just watching some videos online and then um from there i'm just gonna be here waiting for them and yeah it's fun i hope we had a very good um fourth of july let me know what you guys eat for fourth of july next year lord will if god gives us more days and we're still here my goal uh, my goal is that to let the boys be on the parade one lady told me that actually anyone can be on the parade as long as you have something that you just like for coming with if for example you're riding your bike or you have your car um maybe like decorated and stuff i feel like it will be such a very good memory for little ones so i want them to get into it next year and not only that they'll be old enough to actually even like remember those memories even more so it's going to be such a fun year of course lord willing because i can make plans and maybe next day we'll be in botswana who knows so yeah that's that's kind of what we what i want um i felt like it was fun watching those kids just having fun and i bet too they're gonna be remembering it like saying we used to do this and all that i feel like children's memories are very very um are very very close to heart like if i was to tell you all the memories that are in my heart that we did when i was still young i feel like that is just something to be cherished forever so i think giving children a good foundation a good upbringing and not only that also a good um fun time is one of the things and my husband and i will stand by that this is why this summer you're gonna see us going to a lot of adventures you're gonna be going to caves national parks museums and stuff because I watched a video you guys um you guys already know that I've told you guys about this video this man has dementia um the dementia he's in his 40s he got it from from he was working on the military and there was an explosion and at one point they thought he popped his eardrum but as time went on they say that they found out that it actually damaged his brain and as a result he has Louis I mean I'll write it to her on the on the on the on the screen he has dementia and the wife is documenting the journey and I keep on watching this couple a lot because it has taught me a lot one thing that it has taught me it has taught me that it doesn't matter whether you are old or young you can have very serious condition this is why I I believe in cherishing the moments whatever age you are and another thing that it has taught me it has taught me that wow things can change very very fast so he's in his 40s so the wife was was asking their children what are your memories with dad this daughter came she was crying but she said that her best memories with dad was was when dad took them out every time they they come dad comes for for some vacation from the military he will plan a vacation and will take them to hawaii and all these places and then he said she said those were the best memories notice he didn't they didn't say it was when dad and mom bought a very nice house notice they didn't say it is when you took us shopping but they said it was that and ever since i watched that i mean i've shared the story if you are watching me you're like yeah now we know that story but if you're new it's very very important to love and cherish your children i mean that's how i grew up and i i i i'm a very believer into that this is why i don't believe in in, in abusing children and stuff i mean no one believes that but i don't believe in some um, other ways that are really depriving children of this amazing love and you don't have to go to hawaii look at us we just do everything around our place because that's what our budget calls for but we make sure that we leave our home i mean our house just like so that we can go to different places even going out to the mall and all that stuff so that's our goal for this uh, for this year and even next year so it's going to be such a fun thing to dive into so i just wanted to share that you guys we hey, have hey, no mommy. we have amazing news hey, Dad. today that is not driving Dad today is it's michael's turn to drive the car and now the truth hey should michael drive no no they did you want michael to drive so we I'm pushing the cart. Uh -huh. We're right by a big family. And Michael turns to him and says, I'm buying a monster truck today. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy any monster truck? Oh, there's, no monster there's no monster truck there. Honey, Michael wants to drive us today. Is that okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. Look at his legs. Look at that. Yeah. 
Okay, honey, what, what's the price? He said in the cruise control. Hey, no, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> hey, 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 no, not driving. That is driving. <laughs> No, yeah. What do you mean not yet? Not yet you're driving. Okay, honey, let's go. Before let's go. Uh, before he hit people's car. Yeah. I don't know. Uh -uh. Let's go. Uh -uh. Let's let's go. go. No, no. Yes, hey, no. Well, for our 4th of July cuisine, we had pancakes for uh, breakfast. How much more American can you get that? Uh, Kodiak pancakes, that is. And then for lunch, we're having barbecue burgers. Got the buns over here ready to uh, go in the oven and we have the burgers marinated with uh, soy sauce and then barbecue sauce. Are you ready, Nail? I'm excited. I'm You're sure excited? I'm excited for this day. It looks like for dinner also we have something very, very special planned out. Yeah, so we'll keep you in tuned on that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Papa's preparing dinner for tonight, and we have ribs for tonight, mm. as well as corn on the cob. Lots of, uh, lots and lots of ribs. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. So here's two racks of ribs with the rub on it, and the membrane mm -hmm. sheaf off. Mm. Each wrap is about three and a half. Do you like ribs, Neil? I'm excited. Papa makes very good ribs. Well, that's right. We had them in Arizona. Yeah. So here's the finished product. Got the ribs here. Corn in the cob. Garlic bread. Caesar salad. And fruit. How is the food, boys? Hey, guys. Um... I actually am here, boo, boo sleeping, and we are supposed to go out to go and watch fireworks. But my husband said they start, they officially start at 10, right? Yeah, they started at 10 o'clock and they're going out right now. Yeah. So, um, the boys are sleeping right now. It's um, 10 o'clock, they are going on right now. But my husband was like, the kids have to sleep. And I told you guys that we made the babies, our children sleep at, um, 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 and we did not want to break that because of fireworks so we decided not to go but our neighbors are having a blast with fireworks and I was like I didn't know we can have like fire, like those kind of fireworks in neighborhood so it just taught me a lot that next time if God gives us more days we should actually come up with a plan that we are gonna be, we're going to be like also like doing our own fireworks and having a lot of good time but it was a very good 4th of July my Papa made such a very delicious meal. Um, you guys saw it. It was very delicious. That pork ribs was phenomenal. Like this man. Now I hope you guys know that my husband likes to cook a lot. A lot of people like to say, "Why is your husband cooking? Why are you making your husband cook?" I always tell them, guys, I'm not making him cook. It's him that chooses it and he cooks way better than I do. So it is showing me that it comes from the family. You guys know also that Nana and Papa, they some, some cook. For example, on special occasions they cook. Nana was cooking on Papa's birthday and you guys see the amount of talent this family has. Like they are giving me the run for my money. Like even though I consider myself that I can cook something, but I, they make me down there. So the fact that my husband loves to cook is such a blessing. And as you guys saw, not Papa is the same exact way. This man can cook. The wife the same way can cook. And then my husband can cook. So it's definitely a blessing. So all the kids loved it. It was such an amazing day. And I hope you two also had an amazing 4th of July. We definitely enjoyed it. Right now, as you see, I'm in my pajamas. It's time for me to go to sleep. I worked hard today. Um, even though it was 4th of July, during the breaks when they're cooking I was editing some videos still doing some work and tomorrow the kids are going back to school and it's gonna be fun so thank you guys for watching if you watch to the end please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram if you're not following us on Instagram because there we post some fun videos and it's more live than on YouTube YouTube sometimes you see it later but Instagram you always see it live because it's easier to just pop the phone up and just do the stories Bye, guys.